Hey, what's up guys? I'm Skip and you're watching High Volts Gaming. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install non-workshop mods into the new version of Spin Tires. Uh, first thing you will need is some non-workshop mods. For this, I usually almost always come over here to Spin Tires NL. Anything that's good out on the internet, they find and they post on here. So basically, this is your go-to spot for, for your for your mods. Now here's a brand new level out called Competition Crawl here. We'll go ahead and download that. Definitely looks like a good new map here. Right. Download that real quick. And let's go ahead and download this Land Rover Discovery. Alright, I'm going to let that download and I'll be right back. Alright guys, well we got our new mods all downloaded here. We got them in my download folder. First thing you're going to do is go ahead and extract them. I use the 7-zip program. Once you do that, you have your two your two uh, file folders here. Here's the crawl map, media folder, and this one will, is this one just has the the two files that are in the levels folder. Some maps will actually under the media folder they'll have the textures and meshes and all that other stuff. If there's a bunch of extra things that, that go into that map, uh, this one we kind of got lucky. It's just these these two things here, so we can take care of that. And as well as your truck, go in here. Here's the media folder, and here's all of the files for that truck. Now where you put these? Go ahead and go to your Steam. Go to Spin Tires, right click on Spin Tires and click on Properties. This will bring up this page, click on Local Files, and then click on Browse Local Files. Now this takes you to your main files of your main game of Spin Tires. What I always do is, I'll actually just go back to Common here, click on Spin Tires, and I always send this to the desktop, that way I have it right here. Anytime I need to go to Spin Tires, boom, I got it. Anyway, go ahead and open up our media folder. Now, since that map level only had the files that go into the, to the to the level folder, I'm just going to go ahead and put those right in here. Your map, media, levels. Just go ahead and grab these two and put them right into the levels folder. Now, with the truck, of course, it had more files here. So after the media, you're just going to select all these folders, all these files and put them right straight into the media folder. Just like that. The heck files does this thing have? Alright. So there's our map and our truck now installed. That's all it takes guys. And the really good part about this is that it now it, it, it now no longer affects your multiplayer gameplay. Before if you added trucks or maps in this in this fashion, in this way, uh, the game would recognize it as having uh, modified game files and would not let you play multiplayer. Since this new update, they've they've solved that problem for us and you're just able to play multiplayer with all this stuff loaded in there, no problem. <laughs> There's our Ford Taurus still stuck on that tree. <laughs> All right, let's go here and just verify that our multiplayer still works. Boom! There's multiplayer, and you can get in there right there. There's a modded map somebody's playing on. At any rate, there's our competition crawl map. Let's see if we can find that. Um, what was it? Land Rover or something? There it is right there. There's our Land Rover. Let's go ahead and start it up. And that's all it is to it, guys. So basically just like before, you just take your file you take your files, throw them right into that media folder, and you're good to go. Like I said, it's it's really nice now with the multiplayer being able to use like this. Um, 
so yeah hopefully this helped you out guys now this came as to, uh, this this video came up as a request from somebody asking me if they can um, if they can install mods this way because the last video I did was how to install the workshop mods so it's really cool that um, people are asking for these videos if you have something that you want to see please let me know I'll try to make it happen for you so until next time guys I'm Skip and I'm out